Hi, today we are going to talk about Genomatica and its innovative process that utilizes E. coli to produce a compound known as BDO. Genomatica is a San Diego based biotech company that uses GMOs to develop processes that produce commodity chemicals. We will focus on its BDO production process. What is BDO? Its scientific name is 1,4-butanediol and it is used as an industrial solvent and an intermediate in plastics and fiber production. Currently, BDO is conventionally produced using petrochemicals. The most common process is the REP process, which accounts for 40% of current production. This process reacts formaldehyde and acetylene and then proceeds to hydrogenate the product to create BDO. Genomatica has created a process that uses genetically modified E. coli to produce BDO from sugars. Genomatica has created strains of E. coli by inserting non-native genes to induce the E. coli to produce enzymes required for converting sugar into BDO. Additionally, there is also genetic manipulation to ensure E. coli can survive in high concentrations of BDO. The process allows the use of renewable feedstock and has lower energy requirements than traditional processes. This results in 50% lower capital costs and 15-30% lower operating costs. Currently, there exist other companies that have pursued the biopathway to produce BDO. However, only Genomatica has succeeded in producing BDO directly from carbohydrates. Other companies are only able to produce succinic acid biosynthetically, which then requires further processing to produce BDO. Additionally, the market for BDO is very large and the demand is expected to grow at 4.5% per year. This gives Genomatica ample room to carve out a niche in the market with its biotechnology-based process. Importantly, Genomatica's process has already been commercialized. The pilot plant produced 5 million pounds over 5 weeks in late 2012, and the process has been licensed out to BASF and Novamont. Next, we will describe the flow diagram for this process. The first part of the PFD involves growing the modified E. coli in a batch process. The temperature is set at an ideal level for bacterial growth, and the low pH promotes the formation of BDO from other compounds such as 4-hydroxybutanoic acid. At T equals zero, the reactants added into this reactor are E. coli and the 30 to 50 gram per liter glucose solution. This allows the E. coli to grow into a steady state. The next part of the PFD covers the actual production of BDO. When the initial glucose from part one is exhausted, the fermenter is put into continuous mode with 30 to 50 grams per hour of glucose being fed into it. This produces 30 to 40 grams per hour of BDO as shown in stream three. The stream from the fermenter containing cells, the medium and BDO is fed into a separator. Toluene is added as a solvent and the mother liquor is separated from the BDO. The next step is distillation of the BDO to separate it from toluene. The mixture is fed into the distiller and the product is collected. The toluene is recycled back into the separator. We will discuss the fermentation unit operation in detail. The fermentation process uses a novel biological catalyst, E. coli. The bacteria has been modified to produce enzymes that eventually produce BDO such as 4-hydroxybutanoid dehydrogenase. A big advantage of this catalyst is that it can accept a variety of carbohydrate substrates and still produce the same product, BDO. Another unique aspect of the catalyst is that it is activated at the relatively low temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. This lowers carbon dioxide emissions by consuming less energy than other heat-intensive processes. Next, we will discuss how well this process fulfills chemical engineering goals. The process has a maximum theoretical yield. 1.091 moles of BDO produced per mole of glucose and an atom economy of roughly 55%. Volumetric productivity at 3 to 4 grams per hour per liter is a rather small number because it was taken from a prototype process described in its patent. Thus, it may not be reflective of a scaled up process. It is important to note that other nutrients needed to grow E. coli, such as ammonium chloride, have not been accounted for. To conclude, what we can say is that the most important goal in this process is volumetric productivity as it has the space and time efficiency to compete with traditional BDO production methods that use petrochemicals. Secondly, our quantitative analysis is based on a simplified model. Because this is a prototype process, a lot of other factors regarding the generation and use of the modified E. coli are not taken into consideration. Lastly, Genomatica's process technology has better overall economics of production and a smaller environmental footprint relative to the petrochemical processes for BDO manufacturing, and thus, would be future-proofed against future environmental policies such as carbon taxes.